Pensioners in River State have protested the non-payment of their gratuities and 10 years pension arrears. The retirees who were seen in front of the state secretariat carrying placards with different inscriptions bemoaned the untold hardship they have faced since 2012. The pensioners say since 2012, over 300 of them have lost their lives due to the government's non-compliance with its side of the tripartite agreement reached. The former civil servant, however, argued that every effort to make the government pay has fallen on deaf ears, even as complaints lodged at different quarters have proven futile. Since I retired 2017 up to date, I've been facing series of challenges. No payment of gratuity, no payment of arrears. My children are now at home, out of the house. School fees, I'm unable to pay their school fees. That is the way I can manage the situation. My wife died because of no money. I've been suffering one way or the other. Every other people that retired, since we retired, we are suffering up to tomorrow. I retire as a director, but I don't have anything to show. Since some of us, since 2015, 2016, 17, till date, they've not paid their pension arrears. They've not paid their gratuity. Most of us have died. And most of us don't even have rights to stay. So you should pay us our money. Let us take our money and build a house. Have a house of our own. Just look at me. I went for brain scan. I've been sick. I was taken away from my house for almost one year. I went for brain scan of 250000 There was nothing to show for it. No money. My husband has sold all that he had. My children were in the school. Nothing, nothing. No house. So we have come here so that our governor will pay our money. We are being short paid. You know, it's like if we are supposed to earn... If you are supposed to earn 13 naira, we are being paid 12 naira. So the difference is what we are asking for. He set up a tripartite committee. They have finished work. Till now we have not had anything from him. They submitted the report to him. More than three months. So what did we do? Is it, is it a crime to serve the state for 35 years of your life? Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police, Friday Abuka, who addressed the protesters, appealed to them to share their swords while he communicates with the governor. I've listened to all the told me, and I want to assure you that I will take it up from this place. Because very soon I will retire. If I can't take care of you, they will not take care of me. So I'll make sure I carry your grievances, all you have articulated, and pass it on to the governor to look into your plight. The pensioners issued the government a two-week ultimatum to expedite action, or the protests will continue. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.